what a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Psalm 90 verse 16. Welcome everyone here to today. In Jesus name. Let thy work appear unto thy servants. And thy glory unto their children. Verse 17. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us. Establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands. Establish thou it. The Lord bless his word in Jesus' precious name. Tonight we are trusting God for establishment. The establishment of the work of our hands. Not just the work of our hands. But the establishment of our lives. God is a God. Of life and destiny establishment. He's the one who said in Psalm 119 verse 68, Forever, O God, thy word, 89, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. When we say divine, when we say divine establishment, what does it mean? First of all, it means to be settled by God. Any area where you need to be settled. Settled spiritually. Settled maritally. Settled financially. To be settled by God. We hear somebody say, will say, Lord, set to me, set to me, set to me. In 2019, set to me. It means, secondly, to be stabilized by God. We are life is not unstable. We are you are not up today, down tomorrow. Where you are not wondering what should be next. To be stabilized by God. Thirdly, it means to be secured by God. A man established by God or a woman established by God or a person established by God is a person secured by God. Secured. That is your life is not at the mercy of any man or any devil secured by God. What are the secrets of establishment? Psalm 40 verse 1 to 2. I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined unto me. And heard my cry. He brought me up also out of an horrible pit. Out of the miry clay. And set my feet upon a rock. And established my going. Number one is waiting patiently. On the Lord. That is a combination of waiting on the Lord. And patience. Waiting patiently on the Lord. Refusing to organize any alternative to God. Deciding and determining that God has the final say over your life. Determining and deciding that whatever God cannot do for you remains undone. Waiting patiently on the Lord. 
second. Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20 B. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Number two is belief or faith in God. Faith, belief or faith in God. Unwavering faith in God. Which according to Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 said, He that cometh to God must believe that he is and he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Refusing to let your faith shake that God is the one who will establish you and who can establish you and settle you and secure you and stabilize you and no devil can do otherwise. Can I go on? Number three. Existence With focus. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 25 to 26. He said. Let your eyes look right on. Let your eyelids look straight before you. Ponder the path of your feet. In so doing you will let all your ways be established. Refuse to be distracted. Don't let anything distort your attention. Know where you are going. Face there. Know what you are doing. Do it. Focus will cause you to be established. Somebody say amen. Number four, functioning in wisdom. Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 15 said that the Lord by wisdom, the Lord, the Lord, he has made the earth by his power and he established the world by wisdom. Wisdom establishes. Isaiah 33 verse 6 says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times and the strength of salvation. There is the meaning of it is there is something God will make you to know and make you to do that will set to your life. Wisdom brings stability. Wisdom brings establishment. The lack of wisdom results in instability. The lack of wisdom results in unsettlement. That is, there is something God will show you to know. There is something God will show you to do that will bring you establishment and stability in life, financially, materially, in destiny, and in career. And I'm on somebody here today, it is coming in Jesus' name. That was number four. Number five is existence in righteousness. Existence in righteousness. He said in Psalm, Isaiah 54 verse 14. In righteousness shall thou be established. Existence in righteousness in righteousness shall thou be established thou shall be far from oppression for thou shall not fear and from terror for it shall not come near thee he is saying to you righteousness will cause you stability iniquity will cause you instability if you want me to set to you don't compromise for example, you want me to set to you maritally. You cannot be living anyhow and living up and down and want me to set to you maritally. Righteousness shall die. 
be established. Is God speaking to somebody here at all? If, for example, you are struggling with being established in business, find out whether you are doing small, small bribes. I was talking with one of our members today, and he said he went for places to get jobs, and they say, Oh, yeah, we have job for you, come and do this and that. And then when they told him the condition, said, No, I can't do I can't do that kind of job. No, I don't do I don't work like that. No, that's not how I function. What are they what is he saying? Give give us money ahead of time. Give us some money ahead of time. Or factor us into the job or cover our interest in the job or inflate the contract and let this percentage be for us so no i don't i don't do that kind of job i don't do that kind of job i don't do that kind of job that is what it takes for somebody to be established in righteousness shall thou be established is god speaking to somebody here at all so you are going to ask god if you are battling with being established in life lord is there any way i am compromising is there anything i am doing i'm not meant to do is there any iniquity in my life that is preventing you from establishing me father show it to me so what have we said so far secrets of establishment one is waiting patiently on the lord waiting patiently on the lord second is belief or faith in God belief or faith in God where your faith is not shaken number three it is existence with focus where you are not allowing your life to be distracted you face something like a flint and you pursue it and then number four functioning in wisdom functioning in wisdom asking God to show you something you need to know that you need to do in order to be established number five is existence in righteousness number six is prophetic impartation prophetic impartation prophetic impartation your your prophet the one god has set over your life has something to do with your establishment in life in romans chapter 1 verse 11 he said i long to see you that i may impart unto you some spiritual gifts to the end that you may be established i long to see you i want to drop something in you i want to speak something into your destiny i want to announce something concerning your life and that will put inside you some gifts it will put in you some graces and the outcome of it is that you will be established every gift you need that is currently lacking in your life that is necessary for your establishment i prophesy it into your life now in the name of jesus i announce to you this january fasting and prayer shall never be in vain in your life you shall not pray in vain and you shall not fast in vain you believe that shall the loudest amen stand on your feet and shout the loudest amen Please, when you go back home, review those points on what it takes to be established. And your God and my God shall establish you in Jesus' precious name. Are you ready for something here tonight? Lift your hands and thank him for the word you received already. Thank him for the word you received already. Lift your hands and lift your voice and thank him for the word you received already. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. We honor you. Go ahead and thank him for the word you received already.